But I'm about to play a video of uh, Mahmoud. Mahmoud Adu Rahim. Mahmoud? I think I'm saying it right. And I, I'm going to call that brother because I still, I think I still got his number. Because that salute to Atan Thomas for getting him on and having him on. Mahmoud is a guy who has all the talent in the world and it proved that it's a go along get along game this man was still good at damn near 50 years old in the big three he can play better than half the people you run into at almost 50 years old that's how in shape that's how dedicated that's how good this man is at his game at his craft and his dream his game was stolen from him his dream was taken away from him because what I believe is religious belief. So all this, we free and all this other stuff, a lot of the stuff Kanye says I don't agree with, but a lot of the stuff that he's talking about, the mental, the mindset of what we got going on, I agree 100%. We only war with us. Craig Hodges is gonna ask in the video, he said, damn, did they just give Shaq a script? Did they just give Kareem a script? And what have I been saying this whole time? It's sad that brothers that played this game and love this game and enjoy this game and understand what it means to sacrifice and have the, the, the ability to play this type of game, to make this type of money and, and what you could do for your family, to have somebody right next to you disrespecting you like no other, like nobody else can do. And like nobody else does to their own. You can't find no Mexican boxer, basketball player, no Mexican nothing that's going to sit up on a TV station and disrespect and down talk Mexicans in front of the world to see. You won't find that. You don't see large groups of white boys talking about Tom Brady in a disrespectful manner. No matter if they do something good or bad, you don't see it. You don't see black commentators talking disrespectful about white people when they do something wrong. They the ones that help them get the pass, Stephen A. They're the guys that help the white guys get back in with the black crowd. It's not like that, brother. Let me tell you how it is. They be the smart niggas that articulate the shit to get you back liking the white boy. Some white boys, but I ain't got to say that because white boys know that. But see, us niggas, we look for reasons to bother people. The only way it's entertaining if you talking down on a nigga. That's the only way something funny. A nigga die, a nigga in a dress, a nigga get beat up, or something. That's the way it's funny. That's the only thing funny is a black man in a dress, a black man getting assaulted, a black man dying, a black man going to jail, a black man being disrespected by his other legends and peers. That's funny. That's must-see TV. Yeah, that's must-see TV. Little white boy claimed that he was a pimp, little Kiki, Keely, Keepy, got beat up. He's going to be able to go back into society, make money, move freely across America. You ain't going to have to check in with nobody. Unfortunately, if Lil Keekly or whatever his name is was black, that nigga couldn't go outside no more. Everywhere he go, a nigga be trying to take something from him. Everywhere he go, if Lil Keekly was black or Keepy was black, everywhere he go, a nigga be trying to take something from him. How come white rappers don't got to check in? How come the white nobody got to check in? White people make their money, get their shit, and say, fuck you. And if you say something, they call the fucking police. Hold on, I'm parked. We living in a time where up is down and down is up. Where niggas find pleasure in antagonizing and playing with 
and bothering other niggas. They don't commentate, they don't give their opinion. They antagonize. They look for you to react. But see, type nigga like me, I ain't gonna react that shit. Remember, real life though. Let me lean up a little bit. I'm gonna land back. Let me lean up. Hold up. Oh, that's too far. I don't know how that how it works. Like Charles now. Charles Jack. Did somebody come up to them and say, hey, here's the script? Hold on. Let me get a little fair use, fair use, and let me play a little music. Yeah, do somebody come up there and say, here's the script? I think so. I think so, Craig. Brother Craig. I really think so. I think they say, hey, here's a guy right here. We want to attack him. What do you? What would you say about him? Well, I would say this. Well, add in this right here. And I think that'll be gold. And then that's what happened. I think. Allegedly, I think I snapped. Yeah, but I don't know too much, though. I really ain't. I don't know nothing. Well, I don't do nothing. I don't got nothing. I don't know nothing. I'm just, I don't even know. I don't know nothing. I don't even know how I got this far. <laughs> you won't believe he got me this far. <laughs> See, I can't believe he got me this far. I got a little jazz playing. You know, one of the things for me, brother, is how, like, whenever issues like this come up, it's amazing how, I don't know how, how it works, like Charles now. Charles Jackson. Fair use. Somebody come up to them and say, hey, here's the script. You heard what he said? Can y'all hear? He said, do somebody come up to them and say, let me turn this down just a little bit. He said, do, do somebody come up to them and just ask them or hand them a script? Fair use, fair use. Let me turn it down just a little bit more. Shit loud. Okay. Fair use, fair use. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't know how that hive works. Like, Charles now. Charles Shack. Do somebody come up to them and say, hey, here's the script. Watch you know out. Vehicle on so, shoulder ahead. That, how can it be that when the first when it came out, you know, we have black people coming after the brother harder than than the yeah. people. And I'm wondering, I'm like, man, is it a is it a He said, how can you have black people coming at this brother harder than anybody else? How can you have black people coming at this brother harder than anybody else? How? I told you how. They get paid to do that. That's what society is built off on. The imagery of a black man. If you listen to how they talk to our black women, they tell our black women that they don't need one of us. You need to go get a white man. You need to go get any other man. Them black boys, they can't handle their penis. They're not responsible. They're not reliable. They're angry. Yeah, they ain't no good. Y'all should just watch these movies where these white men sleeping with you and every other man be down with this world, girl. If you look at how they depict us in the movies and how they depict us everywhere else, the imagery is always one thing. Ain't no black doctors, is it? Ain't no black lawyers. It's black real ones and black bad bees. And that's it. That's all we got. Let's let 
Craig Hodges finish. And I'm like, yeah, come on, man. Come on, brother. You know, and that, that, that part to me is just like, I, you know, that's something we could never harness to be able to go to their community and get them to speak against them. <laughs> Woo! I gotta turn this shit down some more. He said that's something black people could never harness to go to them and to get them to speak against them. Meaning, you're not about to get five, six, seven white people to come out and gang up on one white person. And every day, a black male getting the news, there's a, a, a select group of niggas that they all got to run their opinion by these niggas. Niggas, sorry. And they all say their opinion on this one person, not knowing that these white folks, some are going to use the status of the person who's saying it against the person that they're saying it against. And they're going to say, oh, as Shaq said, yeah, Kyrie's a dumbass. That lowers Kyrie's value. Shaq said, J Jamel McGee ain't shit. He's Shaq in a boot. That lowers JaVale McGee's value. Ain't nobody saying Gordon Haywood is glass laid. Mr. Glass. But every time Anthony Davis go down, which is a lot, he's the only one that faces this type of screw. Brown boys, we the brown boys. The brown boys, we the brown boys.